Hi, Ben Stanton here. I'd just like to make a quick video about quality and not just about quality of product but about quality of installation and about the knowledge that is required in the solar industry. We're finding that there are a few players in the New Zealand market, a few companies that are well established and have been used to dealing with solar power systems and there are also quite a few more electricians or even non-electrical companies that are getting into the solar power industry because they see that it is really the new energy industry so and all well and good but the problem that we're seeing is that there is equipment being used and there are installations going in that are that are just plain dodgy and actually dangerous now i i, I saw one last week where an ac disconnect circuit breaker that is normally used in an AC distribution switchboard in a home. So the one that goes flick flick when you turn it and blows the fuse and you turn it back on. And that had been used on a solar array. Normally most electricians would tell you that's not a good thing. But some electricians wouldn't really know why and if the equipment is there they seem to use it. The problem is it will work the first 10 times. It might even work the first 90 times or 99 times but the one time that it does not work it will catch fire dc is completely different to ac and many electricians even in the industry have not worked with dc so there is a whole set of standards for the solar industry and if those standards are not followed accurately and fastidiously what you're going to find is down the line we're going to have some problems. So some of the companies that we see are coming from other industries and are not used to even putting in electrical equipment. And so they are relying on uh, electricians that are under contract and that have a fixed rate to get the system installed. And we are finding that there are some dodgy installations happening. I have done an experiment. And I thought, look, I know the dangers of using an AC circuit breaker on a DC system, but I've never actually seen one catch fire. I've seen photos of the results of when they catch fire, and it's not pretty, but I've never seen one catch fire. So I thought, why not simulate it and see if it does? And I wasn't expecting much because, you know, I mean, these things have been used before and occasionally they catch fire. Even the DC products that are cheap will catch fire. So I put this little video together. First thing I did was put an AC isolating switch onto a DC circuit. And the second video is a, an AC miniature circuit breaker, the one that you would find in your switchboard in your home, and that is run on a DC solar circuit. Have a look at the videos and understand that when you employ S for Solar to install your solar power equipment, we will use only the best techniques and only the best quality products. Just a little side note, the AC circuit breaker costs around about $20. The AC switch, very much like a light switch, costs around about maybe six dollars the DC switch to do the same job but in DC costs around about four hundred dollars and have a look at this video and you'll see why all right so we've got voltage coming in DC from solar panels Turn it on. I did not expect it to be that quick. It's an AC switch interrupting DC voltage. Nope, can't, won't reset. And there you go, she's reset. That's all helpful. And that's what happens when you put DC into an AC breaker. And we still go. Oh, 
lot of stinks. Oh, here we go. So what we are seeing here is that the DC voltage from the solar panels does not stop and it will reignite the fault point even though the circuit breaker has tripped and is trying to open circuit the fault the carbon track that has been formed by the DC current still reignites and has in this case caused a fire. So this clearly demonstrates the difference between an AC device and a DC device. This AC circuit breaker is rated at 32 amps and capable of disconnecting an AC fault current of 6000 amps. Yet in this video we are seeing a current driven from the solar panels DC of only 6 amps and it has caused this device to fail. Scary, isn't it? Yeah. Just melting that whole thing. So, thanks for watching. Uh, that scared me a bit when that happened so quickly and caught fire like that. At S for Solar, we stand for quality and we harp on about it all the time, uh, but people just don't seem to realize sometimes how important it is, especially in the solar power industry, that the best quality products are used, not just the panels, not just the inverters, but the everything, the switches, the isolators, the protection devices, the cable, the whole lot has to be the highest standard quality. We will not compromise on that. And we would ask you not to compromise on that either, even though you might be paying a little bit more for your system, get quality and make sure it's installed to a high standard. So thank you for watching. Um, please don't be put off solar um, because of that video. There are plenty of high quality, high standard solar power systems that are being installed. And we, every single one we put in, is the highest quality standard that we can possibly hope to attain to. Okay, enjoy and uh, talk to you soon.